In a bit of a surprise move, the Broncos pick another wide receiver, this time in the second round. It's K.J. Hamler out of Penn State. Phil Milani alongside Sidney Jones and Eric Delala. Sidney, let's start with you. Uh, what kind of player do you think the Broncos are getting in Hamler? Hey, Phil. Yeah, I think this was a huge surprise for all of Broncos country. I don't think anyone expected the Broncos to take another wide receiver this early in the draft. But what you're getting from Hamler is he is really explosive, especially in the slot. And I think that's why they made this move, because now they have an incredible weapons in the offense. They have Portland and Jerry Judy on the outside. And Hamler in the slot, just last season, he had 904 yards in eight touchdowns, earning him second team all Big Ten. In eight touchdowns last year for Penn State. A little bit of a surprise that he'd come out this year just because it's such a deep wide receiver class. Uh, Eric, I know that that's something you had a chance to ask him about. I feel he had a couple uh, years left of eligibility, but he said once he saw that second round grade, he made the decision to make the move to the NFL and paid off there at the 46th overall pick. I find it interesting that, you know, with Denzel Mims still on the board, the Broncos decided that K.J. Hamler was still their guy. But if you look now at the Broncos wide receiving core, you have this big body in Cortland Sutton. You have this route running technician in Jerry Judy. And now from the slot, somebody with that breakaway speed. Sydney mentioned those big plays. If you can get the ball to Hamler, you know, even on a slant, he is a threat to take it all the way to the end zone. That's something the Broncos have been missing the last few years. And as a punt returner and kick returner, he can be pretty dangerous. Yeah, and, uh, you know, as a special teamer there, he should be able to contribute right away. One interesting connection to the Broncos is Hamler already knows uh, his former Penn State teammate in Deshaun Hamilton. Plus, he has a connection with wide receiver coach Zach Azani, who recruited Hamler to the University of Tennessee a few years back. So a couple of ties there. Uh, I'd imagine that Azani was pounding the table, Eric, for Hamler. Yeah, Hamler's a guy, again, that has a skill set that they don't really have. Um, and to, you know, reunite with a player that you've been trying to get to come to your school for years, I'm sure was nice for Azani. He said that was the only interaction he had during the pre-draft process was one call with Zach Azani. Didn't hear from the rest of the Broncos. So it was as much a surprise to him as everybody else. I mean, I know he was on the radar for everybody as, hey, this is a receiver that could be good. But we talked about his size, a smaller type guy. Uh, a little bit of an injury risk, you know, with that type of body. But I think he has the home run potential that the Broncos are looking for. And again, this has to make Drew Locke pretty happy. Yeah, uh, Hamler tore his ACL his senior year of high school. He's just 5'8", less than 200 pounds, Sydney. But uh, maybe that's an okay thing considering the dog mentality that he says he has. Definitely. I think Drew Locke is going to be really excited this season. And I know a lot of experts – dinged Hamler for an alarming number of drops that he had last season, but definitely something he can improve upon. And I think the Broncos offense are going to be hard to compete with. Yeah, he said that uh, I think he was just trying to turn upfield too fast, lack of concentration there, something that's very correctable and probably uh, nothing for the Broncos to worry about as they move forward here with KJ Hamler, the pick in the second round. That's going to do it for us. For Sidney Jones, Eric Dalala, I'm Phil Milan.